Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will see another theorem. It is this theorem is called as angles in alternate segments. So what does this theorem exactly mean? By the statement we can understand, but uh, this theorem exactly means that if uh, this is a tangent, okay, and at the point of contact of this tangent with the circle, there is a secant drawn. Okay, so this is a secant. AB is a secant. And from this point of contact, we have drawn a triangle. Okay, see, we can draw a triangle in any type, like we can draw in this way. Okay, so this D can be at any uh, point in the circle, only circumference. Okay, so if we draw a triangle, okay, turning any point of D with C and P, so this angle, this angle should be equal to this angle. So this we need to prove and CT y, CT y should be equal to measure angle PDC, PDC. Fine. So this is very simple, simple theorem. So let's prove it. See, we already know, we already know that if, if this arc measure is x, okay, so this is This is half of x. Now, if this is now if this is x, so this will be half of x. This is by x squared angle theorem, and this is by tangent secant theorem. So we'll start. So let measure r. Let measure r. Measure R P P C equal to X T. Therefore, measure angle C P Y equal to half of measure R P E C. So this is P half of X. The reason would be tangent. Secant theorem. Okay, now measure angle PDC equal to half of measure R PEC. So this is inscribed angle. Therefore, from yeah, so this is half of x. So from one and two, from one and two, we get measure angle C P Y equal to measure angle P D C equal to half of x. So therefore, measure angle C P Y equal to measure angle P D C times two. Okay, so this is angle in alternate segments. So I hope you have understood this clear. Uh, if you have any query, if you have any doubt in this clear, just comment me so that it would come to me so that I can understand your queries here. So thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks for watching.